exposure to this um, on a test or a quiz situation, you could be given some graphs and have to match the graph to the equation. How you reason that out, though, is by making up some traces and seeing. Well, one, you either have to kind of memorize the forms of the, the, the equations, and I'll kind of review to give you some hints, but otherwise, to just do what I was doing here and make, make up some traces, and seeing the types of traces you get helps you realize what kind of shape you have. But let me do a little review of, of that just to point out that there really are enough clues that you can kind of, you know, within reason, figure out what kind of shape you have. Um, and I try to give you some that are within reason, okay? <laughs> like, for example, again, going back to the ellipsoid, <coughs> All variables are squared, all variables are the same sign. And so if you plug a constant in for any one of these, you're going to get the shape, the equation of an ellipse. And so, you know, you can picture a, a ball that's, you know, flattened or squashed or whatever. Whereas, look at the equation over here, one of the variables is not squared. And if one of the variables is not squared, then the only kind of traces you can get are, if I make z a constant, I'll get ellipses. If I make x or y a constant, I'm going to get a parabola. So that's your hint that, oh, this kind of equation gives me a paraboloid, a bowl that's kind of shaped like a parabola. So one of the variables is not squared. By one of the variables not being squared, you get parabolas. Okay, so like if I just kind of put those two together, I get a parabola. So that's a clue that you know you're going to get a parabola, and not one of the other shapes. Whereas all the other ones, all three variables are squared. Okay, if you look at all the other shapes. Oh, sorry. Well, okay, this one it's not. But do you notice? Here, there's a negative sign, so they're opposite signs, and so you get you don't get a paraboloid. Instead, you get you get hyperbolas as traces and not parabolas. Okay, so I like the the traces that you're seeing are some of them are hy hyperbol hyperbolas. Um, the cone one, again, one of the squared variables is on the other side, and there's not that extra constant. So that's what created, like it's possible to plug things in, like if I plug zero in for y, then if I take the square root, well, now I have mine. So that tells me you have a cone. Okay, that was like a hint that that made a cone. If you block out one of the variables and then take the square root of both sides, you end up getting the equation of a line and not um, of some other shape. Okay, but I think us doing an activity like we're going to do um, next week um, will kind of help you get some more practice so you feel better about it. Okay. All right, I'm done with that 